I don't know if we're going to be able to get through this whole uh, week's releases because there is a lot. The first two weeks of this year, the brands were slow, but this week, honey, they came through with the releases. Hi there, my loves, and welcome to another episode of Pick Up or Pass Up. And today, we have a lot to go through. As I said in my introduction, there was a lot released, so I hope I can whiz through all of them. Um, yeah, and let you guys know what my thoughts are of the releases for this week and which ones I think I will pick up and which ones I am thinking will probably probably give it a pass. So to begin, I'm going to tell you what's on my eyes, on my face today. Um, so today I have on Revolution. I did this green smoky look and I used the uh, I Heart Revolution palette in mint chocolate. So this palette and is the green one and I just used this green color right here that's the only color I used to deepen my crease or as yeah as a crease color and to blend it out I used the Kami Kiss of Fire palette and I used the yellow and orange in the in the palette and then I use the black to deepen the green. And on my lid, I actually have the highlighter from this palette also, which is called um, Flash Me. So this color here that looks like a white, um, it actually reflects green. So I put this on my lid to give me that green shift. You see that? So that's what I've got on my eyes today. Hope you guys like the look and let's just get into the pick up or pass ups. As usual, I'm going to be using the Love Drugstore Instagram page for my information because that's where I put all the releases and sneak peeks and then I discuss them here. So let's start off with the makeup news or the sneak peeks we had this week. And the first one is from Revolution and they are going to be releasing in March some more easter eggs now for those who remember from last year they released some um, egg shaped eyeshadow palettes um, eyeshadow and highlighter palettes and there was like five eyeshadows and then two highlighters in each egg and they're going to release some more i really like the look of this that's coming out this year because um they seem to have a matte outlook to them so the outside looks matte and then um, they've only showed the inside of the light pink one and the dark purple one. You can see the dark purple, um, the dark purple eyeshadows, and you can see the whole of the light pink one. But I really want to know what is actually in the yellow one. The yellow one is really intriguing me. I don't know why. Maybe because I love yellow. I like mustard. You can tell from my outfit. <laughs> but. Um, yeah, I'm really interested to see what's in those. And if it's um, a combination that I like, I might be interested in that. But that is releasing in March in time for Easter. Um, so yeah, that is the first sneak peek. Now, Jacob Beauty has launched um, in the UK and Ireland. So for those who don't know, Jacob Beauty is a, it's quite a popular um, affordable brand. I think they might be in some stores in the UK in the UK. They might be in some sort of stores in the US, but they are mainly online and they have launched um, online in the UK as well, which is very exciting. I got a lot of likes on the post um, when I um, shared the news. So I think people in the UK are very excited about it. They have most of their pro popular products on there. The Extreme a Access Pocket Shadow is on there. Sorry guys, I have a bit of a lisp today because I have a toothache and yeah, it's affecting my speech. Ugh, story of my life. But yeah, um, they have the pocket um, shadows on there, which is exciting. Um, there are some chromatic 3D eye toppers, some highlighters. So yeah, the website is now um, live in the UK. It's jcatbeauty.co.uk. It's only available to UK and Ireland um, customers. They don't ship to the rest of Europe at the moment. So 
if they if that changes i'll let you guys know but they are shipping to um uk and ireland at this very moment so if you live in those countries and you've always wanted to try jk beauty but they don't want to pay customs then they have a website for you now so that is pretty exciting um i would have wanted to try to buy from them but they don't ship to holland so and um, the only thing i can do is to ship it to someone in england when i'm about to go there and then pick it up from them um when i do go but um yeah at the moment i can't pick it up because where i actually live they don't ship there new brand called copycat beauty that has launched um and they they basically dupe high-end products they basically dupe high-end products and um i don't know the the brand was started by i believe she is um some sort of um instagram um personality or some social media personality um girl i forgot what her name is i'll put it on the screen i'll put her picture here um i didn't know much about her now this brand was brought to my attention by one of love drugstore's followers um on instagram um but i'm not really i don't really know much about this girl all i know is that she was on dr phil and she she has a phrase that is popular called cash me outside or something i don't i don't know much about her i live in an under rock i know but um yeah she's she brought out this brand called copycat uh, beauty which literally copies um high end uh, brand products it's not that i have no problem with dupes obviously i am I love affordable makeup and a lot of um, affordable makeup um, is can be dupes but she is very blatant about it she doesn't even try to hide it on the website she has pictures of the actual product in comparison to what she is selling which is yeah ethically I don't mm, I think that is a little shady um, so that part I'm not really a fan of that I think she could be a bit more subtle about it um, but the products do look really good. She has a um, Too Faced Chocolate Gold eyeshadow dupe. She has a Kat Von D 10 year anniversary dupe. She has a Hourglass Amplified Lighting uh, Blush Palette dupe, which looks really good. I really want to try that. Um, she has NARS dupes, Anastasia dupes. She has dupes for a lot of brands. And um, even the Stila Magnificent Metals. Um, metal metallic eyeshadows she has deals for those as well for like four four dollars five dollars and the palettes are eight ninety nine eight dollars ninety nine and when you click on it you, it would it will tr translate it to your currency automatically um but yeah i'm really interested in i do personally want to try it try the brand and try the things on there because there's there's things on there that is catching my eye like the stealer dupes the hourglass um blush palette and also the chocolate gold dupe those those three uh, products really are catching my eye but i don't really know how i feel about the brand as a whole but um yeah it's available now they ship internationally it, the shipping is affordable it's 12 dollars for sh international shipping um so yeah if you're interested it's copycatbeauty.com um, you can check them out if you want to get some dupes. That is it for makeup news. Let us go into the actual releases that came out. So first of all, we're going to talk about the um, more the Morphe Fluidity Collection. It finally dropped um, yesterday on all three um, Morphe websites. So the UK website, the EU website, and the regular website. So you can be you can shop from there depending on the country you're in and they have all of the shades there they also have um the compacts there the, the uh, complexion compacts they have the concealers they have the two primers um and they have a brush set as well um the prices are not too bad the the foundation is retailing for 16 pounds 20 euros which i don't know why it's such a jump um or eighteen dollars. So sixteen pounds sounds good. Eighteen dollars sounds reasonable, but twenty euros. I don't converting pounds to euros is not that big of a jump. It should be like 
the euro should be less than the dollars. So it should be around 17 euros. But it says 20, so if you're interested in it, um, it's available now. As I said to you in my last, or oh, is it my last, the one before, in the, in the um, pick up a parcel that I discussed this uh, collection, I um, I was really interested, interested in this collection, but now, after seeing some reviews, after seeing people swatching, some of the undertones look very funny. Like, I don't know, people are really, I don't know, I don't, I feel like people are not, are not really gelling with this foundation. So, I saw Alyssa Ashley's review on it, which was, it wasn't like completely negative, but it wasn't positive either. Um, so, I'm not too sure. I said I really wanted to try it, and I still kind of do, but I'm kind of like swayed a little bit to the left now. So, I'm not too sure. I might still buy it, um, but I'm not sure. It's, it's now a soft pickup for me instead of like a, a hard pickup. So, um, yeah. That's the Fluidity collection. It's now um, live. The next release was from um, Colourpop. Now, Colourpop has released another collection called It's My Pleasure. This is a purple-themed collection. It has a nine-pan eyeshadow palette, which retails for $12, um, which is, yeah, probably about 10 pounds or 11 euros. Um, there's also some uh, cheap products. There's some super shocked. Oh, my God, if you can say that right. There's some super shock um eyeshadows and super shock highlighters um the eyeshadow uh the single eyeshadows are like purples um the cheek products pop up they look a bit whitish but i think they probably have like a purpley hue to them and there's also some lip products as well for around six or seven um dollars so yeah it's a cute collection the eyeshadow palette actually looks nice um i personally will not pick it up because um i can't get uh color pop easily i have to order from obviously from america but it doesn't draw me enough to want to make a, a purchase from color pop so yeah i think i'll pass on it i do have the revolution um purple palette which has quite a lot of these shades in there already the from the iheart range i'll put a picture up here but it's from this range um the violet I forgot the name at the moment, but the Violet Palette, pa the Violet Palette, the Violet Palette, uh, which ha which looks very similar to this actually. So I think I'll pass on this one. But it looks it looks like a very pretty uh, palette and it's very reasonable. The next release was from um, Technic. So Technic has also released some um, the lip kits. Uh, they released it on yesterday as well, and they have about five in the range five lip kits in the range there's uh pinks and nudes and reds uh yeah so it's it's a cute collection again I, i'm not really into lip products to be honest i find what's at, at the moment i'm into a lot of gloss i'm into a lot of nude colors um so i usually just put a lip liner on put a lip gloss on and be on my way so this lip kits and the colors don't really attract me they're too bright they're they're not deep enough for what I like. So I will pass up on these lip kits. But they are only £4 each. Uh, which includes a liner and a liquid lipstick. So that's a very good price. But I just don't like the colours. So I will pass up on these. But they are very good price. And they ship internationally. So that is great. Um, the next launch was from uh, Beauty Bay. And Beauty Bay has launched some more things in the EYN uh, range. We've released some brush singles and some brush sets. So, yeah, the the sets, the brushes look actually really nice. They are there's a set that has like a like a holographic um, handle to them, which looks very pretty, and it's not really, it's not even that expensive. the The twelve piece. I set is around 23 yeah around 23 pounds um yeah so that's 26 euros or 30 dollars for like 12 brushes um and the single eye eye brushes are from like 
three to ten pounds or three fifty euros to eleven fifty um euros or four dollars to fifteen dollars so yeah so depend obviously if the eye brush or a face brush but the prices are really reasonable and they have a good variety of um, brushes in there so if you're interested in some affordable eye brushes um beauty base EYN line has now some singles and some sets you can pick up but for me at the moment I don't need any brushes I've bought so many brushes in the last few weeks especially on Amazon and on um, and on Aliexpress I don't really need any brushes I have my staples that work for me so at the moment I'm not looking to buy any more brushes so yeah I'll pass upon those but they look really pretty um the final releases we have is from uh revolution and this week revolution on wednesday released some more products the first ones were their cut crease canvases so we sneak beat these a couple of weeks ago as well and they finally released it there is four shades in the cut crease um canvases and there's a white shade, a fair shade, a medium shade, and a deep shade. And the interesting thing is that the the bottles, they look like the Conceal and Define uh, foundation bottles. They look like these from the pictures I can see. But instead of like a, like a Dofo applicator like this, they have a... Um, a brush applicator which is very interesting so obviously this is supposed to help you with your cut crease to um to do your cut crease a lot easier um so it has a brush a thin brush at the end that you can use to cut the crease which is very innovative i haven't seen anybody else in the market do this so yeah it's it's something that i am interested in i really would like to try one of these but from the demonstrations I've seen so far of it, it looks very messy. I don't know. It looks very messy. And the messiness is what is putting me off. I think once you get used to it, it will be fine. And, and I'll probably get like a medium to, so that I can use a very light color to cut the crease and for the pigment to show up on my cut creases. Um, so I am, at, let's say 70% going to pick this up but the messiness is the only thing that is putting me off a little bit it looks really messy they also released a eyeshadow base as well uh which retails around the same price so sorry i didn't tell you how much the canvas is uh, retail for so the cut crease canvas retails for uh six pounds or six euro 99 or nine dollars so yeah that is how much they retail for each and i believe the the primer the eye primer also retails around the same price if not i'll put it up here for you so yeah that was the eye base products that was released from revolution and then finally they released um some new reloaded palettes the reloaded palettes is one of the popular um collections that they have in the line they only retail for four pounds each, which is like four euros ninety nine or seven dollars, and they're very pigmented. Like these palettes, I have five of the reloaded palettes, so I personally love them. Um, I would like to get more if there's uh, colors that interest me, I will get them. Um, but this this collection that came out, some of them are nice. The only one that is really pulling me in, actually two, two are really pulling me in. The pinky one. Um, called provoke oh, the pinky one called provocation that is really pulling me in but i feel like that one looks a lot like the uh, neutrals 2 palette i feel like that one looks a lot like this one so i'm drawn to it but i don't know if i need it because i feel like it looks really similar to this and also the bright one called um marvelous matte that also is pulling me in but i don't know if i want to buy that either because i have i already have a colorful um palette from revolution pro i have the revolution pro mischief mattes 
so which is a colorful palette so i don't know if i because i have this if i need the bright one the marvelous mats from the revolution line so i'm torn about those two but if i was to get any of them it will be those two um but because i have these two i don't know if i need those two you know what i mean so yeah if i didn't have these two maybe then i'll buy them but um it's a 50 50 we shall see if maybe if i see it in person maybe if i went to england and i saw it in person and um i liked it then i'll probably pick it up but because it's four pounds you can't beat that um but yeah at the moment it's 50 50 on those they have four um they have four in the collection so if you're interested they are they look very beautiful but they are not interesting enough in, in enough for me to pick up i don't think they will add anything extra to my collection so i'm 50 50. Yeah, that is it for this video thank you guys for watching um again sorry for my lisp um it's really bothering me but anyway until next week thank you again and i will see you next time bye my love